Hello and welcome back to Witches of the Moon. I'm Eva Maria, your Monday hostess, and this week's topic is going to be how to make magical tools. Um, I guess each of us this week will be suggesting um, different DIYs kind of you can do. Um, that's how I understood the topic to be, that each of us would kind of be showing you a different DIY or suggesting a different like DIY idea, some way that you could make um, tools for yourself rather than buy them if for whatever reason you don't have a lot of money or maybe you want to make something a little more personal or for whatever reason. Let's say you're just into reusing, reducing, and recycling. Well, that's cool too. That said, um, this week I'm going to be showing you something really insanely simple. I'm going to be explaining to you how to take this can of cat food, how you can take that and turn it into this. An incense holder for cones or sticks. It's really not complicated at all. It is so super simple. Let me just take the incense off the holder. So super simple, this project. When you feed your cat, you're gonna save the can. You're going to remove the label. There's probably going to be a spot somewhere on the side where there's gonna be like a dot of glue. What you can do to take that off is um, First, I, I try to soak it in a little bit of very warm or hot water and see if that loosens it up a bit, but if it doesn't, anyway, I'll take a little bit of like cooking oil and I'll rub the sticky stuff and kind of scratch it a little bit and it'll work its way off, okay? And then you can choose to either wash it one more time if the surface feels a little slick to you or you can just kind of wipe it off if you feel it's not too oily feeling. And it doesn't even take a lot of oil to take the sticky stuff off, just a little bit. So, okay, you've got your label removed. Um, then what you're going to do is, on the underside, you're going to take a hammer and you're going to take some, some finishing nails. And what finishing nails look like, basically, they're these itty bitty little nails like this. To show you comparison, size comparison, I'm just going to show you like this. That's a finishing nail. And you're basically going to hammer in four holes you know, at like cross points. Those are going to be for you to put sticks in there. And when you hammer in the, the nail into the hole, before you go and take it out, and you don't have to nail it all the way in, just make a hole. Just puncture a hole with the hammer and the nail. What I do is I kind of go like this. I kind of, see how I'm rotating that? I kind of rotate it so that it kind of folds the hole bigger in the can, you know? You're basically you're rotating it so it's it's how can I even show you so you can see this when you've pushed it through you want to kind of go like that I think that's a really good view for you to see this you want to go like that and, and like put a little bit of pressure on it so it makes the hole slightly bigger around than the nail is now so you've made four holes unfortunately I tried using like nail polish remover to get the um, the stamp off I couldn't I don't recommend painting this because you're going to be burning incense cones on this and paint and heating up paint is probably not something you want to have because then there could be vapors created or something you'll be inhaling the vapors of the cooking paint. So let's not do that. Um, you can try, like I said, sanding it off, but I think that's just going to scratch up the, the can and it's going to kind of make it look kind of not great. So my solution to this is when you buy cone incense, from Walmart and some other places. Usually they give you this nifty little disc, okay? It's a little disc that comes with the cones. It's meant for actually burning your cones on. What I decided to do is just place the disc there in the middle of the can. Now, here on the side, since the stamp was not stamped right in the middle, there's a little bit showing, but I'll tell you what, with that little disc on there, you almost don't see the stamp at all, and it's a big improvement. And I'm like, hey, I can live with that. I can live with a slight number showing. It'll probably eventually wear off or something anyway, and even if it doesn't, 
this is the side view. I mean, I'm not really going to be staring at that all the time, you know, and you really, you really don't see the numbers much. So I'm like, okay, that works. That works. So then the next thing is you want to have a dish, a little saucer plate. You could probably pick one up at like a dollar store or maybe at a yard sale for like a few cents or a dollar or something stupid. And you're going to put that underneath your your incense holder like so. So that's how it's going to be. It's going to sit on the dish. This is going to be basically your ash catching part and that's going to sit like that. And because this is metal, it's going to be it's going to be really good with the heat, you know. And basically the sticks they go in like so. If you feel that your sticks are a little long and you feel like the ashes are going to fall over the dish, you can either use a bigger dish or if you would like to conserve space on your altar top, here's my suggestion, my solution to this. Where did I put the, uh, I thought I had the other piece of stick here. Oh well, I'll just show you comparing the two sticks. These are the bottoms of the sticks. On the top one here, I broke half of the wood stick off. Okay? This is the bottom of the incense. Do you see um, on the one, on this one here, I broke half of the this the wood stick off so that it's a little shorter. And then when you put it through, it kind of it kind of stands up a little better where it's not as angled in the holder. It's not angled over, it's not threatening to, you know, spill those ashes over the dish. So then yeah, you can have that and then on that little disc that comes with the incense, uh, the, the incense cones, that little disc that we have placed in the center, your cone could stand there if you want to do cones instead of sticks. And uh, that's pretty much the extent of making your own incense holder. It's not a difficult project. I think it's rather nice, you know. And uh, again, there's the top view, a little closer really inexpensive way to get yourself a versatile cone or stick incense burner if you just let's say you need an extra one for whatever reason let's say you want to have uh, different holders for different rooms in your house or something well here's a solution to have an extra one without bothering to spend the money you know save your money for your really cool incense okay so that's that's what I wanted to show you today an option for making your own DIY incense burner, turning a cat food can into something else. Reduce, reuse, recycle, folks. That said, I look forward to seeing what everyone else brings forth this week, all the other DIYs or ideas or explanations or what have you. I look forward to seeing those because I kind of I like stuff like this. I like repurposing things and I like innovations. So, and I'm sure you do too because they're always fun, really cool little life hacks. So, yeah, this is uh, my short little video for this week's topic, which is how to make your own tools. I hope you have enjoyed this. I wish you a happy Monday, blessed be and ashe, and until next week. Bye bye for now. Don't forget to hit me up with your comments too. If you have any thoughts, feelings, questions, anything, please hit me up in the comment box below and I'll get back to you. Bye bye for now.